Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Maths and Electronics Tutorials. Today in our video we are going to learn about what is microwave and also the limitations of conventional tubes. So firstly what is a microwave? It is a very small wave and it is an electromagnetic wave. In other words it is a small electromagnetic wave whose wavelength is approximately 30 centimeters to 1 millimeter. Its frequency range is from 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz and it can travel through the ionosphere layer of the atmosphere. So these are some values like 1 gigahertz is equal to 10 to the power 9, 1 megahertz is equal to 10 to the power 6, 1 microhertz is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 and 1 millihertz is equal to 10 to the power minus 3. Another important concept of the microwave is about the vacuum tube or the conventional tube. So in this diagram you can see a vacuum tube triode. It consists of three terminals grid, anode and cathode and it has very high voltage. So now let's know about the vacuum tube. So in the vacuum tube the electrons flow from one electrode to another electrode through the vacuum. A vacuum tube is a conventional tube or it can also be known as the conventional tube. So there are three types of vacuum tubes, triode, tetrode and pentrode which were invented in 1902, 1926 and 1946 respectively. Now what is a triode? Triode is a vacuum tube and it consists of three electrodes that is cathode, anode and a grid. So now the next topic is about the limitations of conventional tubes or why these conventional tubes are not being used nowadays. The first is intercapacitance effect or the inter electrode capacitance effect. Second is the lead inductance. Third is transit time or angle effect. Fourth is gain bandwidth product limitation. Fifth is skin effect. Sixth is radiation loss and seventh is the dielectric losses. So now let's know about these each individually in detail. The first limitation is intercapacitance effect or inter-electrode capacitance effect. The capacitance between the two capacitors is known as the inter-electrode capacitance. Here in this diagram you can see a vacuum tube or a triode and these are the capacitors and this CGP represents the capacitance between the anode and the grid and CGK represents the capacitance between cathode and grid and CKP represents the capacitance between cathode and anode or the plate. So now here C is, is the inter electrode capacitance which is equal to sigma A upon D and sigma is the dielectric constant of the material, A is the area of metal plates and D is the diameter. The capacitive reactance. The capacitive reactance can be calculated by Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc and Xc here represents the capacitive reactance and Fc is the frequency. And you can observe that capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency. Now let's know about what is exactly the problem. So inter electrode capacitance. In this at higher microwave frequencies the capacitive reactance that is Xc is approximated by a short circuit. Let's understand this through an example. So let's take triode which is a device or a conventional tube and at microwave frequencies that is higher microwave frequencies the capacitance between the grid and anode which are the electrodes of the triode is approximated by short circuit that is CGP is equal to zero and whatever the voltage is present at the grid is directly transferred to the anode hence there will be no amplification and the gain of the device also decreases here the device is the triode and the main aim is to increase the amplification. Since there is no amplification and also decrease in the gain, this is a limitation. Let's know about the another limitation in the next video 
Till then, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.